Maybe you've heard of the VIX or this thing called the fear gauge. What exactly is it? What is it telling us? How is it influenced? I'm Clay, let me explain. Now the official title is the CBO, which is the Chicago Board Options Exchange Volatility Index. But yeah, the VIX. If you wanna sound cool, if you wanna sound like a trader, just people tell them that you know, the VIX is doing this or the VIX is doing that, and that, that is what you're actually referring to. So what is this actually telling us? Well, as I alluded to at the beginning, it is the fear gauge, meaning it's pretty much giving, you know, kind of the market and everybody an insight into the feelings of the market. Are people feeling scared? Are people feeling anxious? Or are people just kind of not scared? Everybody's feeling calm. So how does all this work? Well, let's just kind of walk through a little story here. And let's say that Tom here, he believes, you know what? His whole idea towards the market is, you know what? I think the market is gonna be going down. So that is his thought. Market, I don't know if that shows up or not. Let's try that again. There we go. So he thinks the market is gonna go down. I will just, so that represents the market there. That is on its way down, uh-oh. But because Tom cares about his money, Tom is gonna say, okay, is there anything I can do to hedge my risk, to keep my risk under control, to kind of protect myself? Is there anything I can do out there? If I think the market's gonna go down, or maybe not know, because nobody ever knows, but he believes or he's a little worried about it going down, is there anything that he can do? You know, can, there, can I do anything to maybe make my life a little bit easier? And yeah, there is. He could then go and use and step into the world of options. Now options, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. They're just, they're, they're, they're like stocks. They're a derivative out there. A derivative just means they are, they are based and derived from the price of something else. But just realize that there's another vehicle out there called options. And he can use options, again, to help just alleviate, to help protect himself a little bit from the market going down. So what the VIX is telling us is and what happens with the VIX is um, if enough people join Tom and thinking, uh-oh, I think the markets are going down, I'm getting a little shaky, uh-oh, well, okay, is there anything I can do? Yeah, and everybody knows that options exist. Well, what's that gonna do? The more people that start to use these options because the market's gonna go down, that's gonna cause these option prices and stuff to expand and expand. So in other words, people have to pay more from the options point of view in order to protect themselves, in order to protect against the risk. So therefore, the VIX, when a lot of people, so let's just call it lots equal nervous. So when a lot of people are nervous, that is gonna send the VIX higher and higher and higher. Because you have a lot of people that are nervous and they're gonna use options. And the more people that buy something, the more people that are using something, right, that's just basic supply and demand, the higher those prices are gonna go. So therefore, the VIX is gonna go up when a lot of people are nervous. And that's the exact opposite reason why if the VIX is down low, well then there's not a lot of times out there, right? Tom, there's not many times people aren't thinking that the market's going down, so therefore they don't feel like they need to protect themselves against anything. Therefore, they're not gonna be using options in that manner. And when a lot of people aren't using options in that manner, well, those prices are gonna be very mild. Therefore, the VIX will be going down in those situations. So that is how the VIX works and what it's telling us is it's telling us how many people are starting to protect themselves? How many people are getting a little anxious and nervous out there? And again, fearful, hence the fear gauge, because, well, they're now using options to do certain things within the options market. So the more times you have out there, that just means that the more the market is nervous and the more that the market is nervous, the more options are gonna be in play and the more options that are in play, the higher prices and the higher it's gonna to cost to protect yourselves and that's what's gonna cause the VIX to go up. So that's what the VIX is, that's how it works, that's how it's all influenced. So at the, more, at the end of the story, at the end of the day, the moral of the story is that the higher the VIX is, that just implies the more nervous people are out there as a, as a you know, market as a whole. The lower the VIX is, that just tells you, well, yeah, people aren't very nervous, people aren't very scared, people are just think, hey, you know, everything's perfectly fine. So that's what the VIX is telling us and that's how it all works. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, 
whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.